I want to talk to you mothers. Those of you who feel like failures as mothers. Those of you who didn't measure up. Who may be guilt ridden or heavy laden with a lot of uh, bad memories and regrets. Some of you know that you didn't do all that you could have done. Some of you may not have wanted to. And some of you may just not have been able to. Okay. A lot of us work from a deficit because we're damaged goods. Sometimes, unfortunately, our kids don't get there. But I want to say this to you. God knows. And God is not the author of guilt. So, if you feel like a failure, number one, start from the bottom up. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to give you a new slate in life, a new lease on life, and ask God to reconcile you with your children, with the ones you failed. But ask God to heal your relationships with them as well. It's doable. God can do that very easily if all are willing. Now, what I want to ask you is I want you to hear this this uh, poem I wrote about my mother. I talked about my mother in a previous uh, video. Uh, after her nervous breakdown, she became quite verbally abusive, very negative, and full of rejection towards me and resentment. But it was out of her own warped sense of how she viewed life, how she viewed the relationships between her, my father, and me. And there was just a lot of uh, gross confusion going on in her mind and in her heart. And with all of that, she still managed to protect me. She still managed to teach me. And she cared for me. She just didn't have what it took to shower me with her affections and all the, the pleasantness of motherhood. So let's leave it at that, okay? Um, I found out that my mother had been abused, as I told you before. But what I want to share with you is, I want to share a poem with you. And I want to give you a little background real quick. My mother was abused. Her mother committed suicide. Her grandfather used her as a punching bag. And he would box her ears. She was born in 1913. And unfortunately, that's what they did with kids. I don't get that, but that's what they did. And from the punches in her stomach, she had abdominal problems and a lot of surgeries. And she had a cerebral hemorrhage as a result of the ongoing boxing from her childhood. Now, what I want to share with you on this is... My mother had more emotional scars than she had physical. And she had a very difficult time dealing with life. She was a 160 genius. They had, had uh, tested her. She, she scored 160 on her IQ. And because of the emotional toxicity and the unhealed wounds, she never became all that she could have been because of the weight that so easily besets. Okay, I'm going to share my poem. I just wanted you to understand why I wrote this poem about her. Okay, here we go. This is in my book, That Still Blows My Mind. I think I showed it to you. Yes, I did. That still blows my mind. It's available on Amazon. But I want you to hear this poem I wrote about my mother. I was sitting across the table from her and as she poured her heart out to me, I started writing. And I went in the bedroom and finished the poem and wrote, read it to her. And she said, Patty, for the first time in my life, you actually understood what I was saying. So I want you to hear my mother's heart. And if it reflects on some of your hearts, take that to God and ask him to heal you. Okay, here it goes. 
The name of the poem I wrote when I was unsaved, so those of you Christians who get offended easily, ignore the word damn, just letting you know ahead of time. Listen to the poem, please. This, I just use that word for effect. I wrote this when I was 18. Who gives a damn? That's the name of the poem. Who gives a damn? She's just an old woman alone in a room. Reach out and touch me. I need. Maybe I've been gifted with some treasure deep down inside. If I have been gifted with such a privilege, then I have lived, worked, and suffered. I've more than paid for it. I long for death. Yet I long for life. Is there anything to live for? I long to hear someone say, Let me reach out and touch you, all of you from the inside. Old oh, woman alone in the room, don't perish, don't give up, for your power and strength shall rule over all. Well, there she is, alone in the room, gagging and gagging yet failing to regurgitate all the sickness and misery that life has shoved down her throat. Is there anybody who knows her? Is there anybody who loves her? Is there anyone who hears, who sees, who feels, who listens? Is there anybody who gives a damn? That is the poem I wrote to my mother. And I dedicate it to all of you mothers who feel like failures. Don't give up. Don't give in. Your strength can rule over all. But you need the strength of God. You need the healing of God. God can give you a whole new lease on life and make you feel alive for the first time in your life. I know. God bless you.